Hello everyone, it's Curl back with more Persona 4 Golden. We last left off, we took care of a bunch of social links. Oh, and we saved Naoto from herself. Yes, Naoto Suragane is a girl. Did they, did, they, did they get a job of hiding it? I mean, when you wait to see Swope, you could not tell. But yeah, she was up in arms about being a good detective and all that, but the police force, well back then, especially in Japan, wasn't exactly a beat wasn't exactly somewhere for females, so to speak. It's a whole gender thing and I'm not gonna go into it. Anyway, more importantly, finally getting our party members up to snuff. I wanna say, because I am overpowered as all hell, right? I feel like, because when I go into those dungeons trying to level grind, I went through SP so quickly, trying to cover out el elements that I not I don't have in the party from other party members. Which kinda leaves TA and Teddy on the back burner. Because TA, unlike everyone else, has let next to nothing when it comes to elemental ability. All he also he's packing his total physical damage. Which is good, but when trying to focus on uh, weaknesses, the, the kind of leaves are left wanting. Because these are only elemental moves. Ufa and Teddy can cover that with his own persona, Kentucky Doji with Fugidine and Ufa. But I'll try to bring Chie in more often. And we take care of the exploring we need to do that. Yeah, and we finished the Margaret's, we finished the Empress Arcana, so I have all the persona requests done, oh. taken care of. Uh. And yeah, I'm spending time now. Yeah. Finally, too. I'm home. Welcome home! Dad! Sorry. Later, Nanako. But this paper. Scheduling with parent teacher interviews. Man. Survey, huh? Yeah. Fine. It's fine. It's fine, okay? Monica? Don't have to write anything. You don't have to come. It's just another case you write. It's more work, isn't it? Bad people and everyone else are more important to you than me, huh? You're not real. You're not my real dad. Nanako. Uh, hey. Nanako, wait. And she's out the door. <sighs> What's gotten into her? Let's go look for her. Uh. Yeah, you're right. Now's not the time to stand around asking questions. Dojima not strongly. Why am I getting points in our Dojima? This is Nanako's. I'll go check to Nesco. Kuro, you look around the shopping district. I'm counting on you. Of course. We need to find Nanako. Okay, come on. Central shopping district. Where are you? You don't see Nanako in the empty, in the empty quiet shopping district. Hey! Oh, guys. I ran to the sign to Ness and he told me what happened. Shh. You could just ask. It was quick. Hey, uh, it was in the heat of moment. I didn't think, okay? I got a call from Yosuke Kun. I'm sure if we all look, we'll find her. Hey, do you know what kind of places these might have gone? The place where Nanako would go. You recall that Nanako said her family used to go to the Semagawa, Semagawa River to Semagawa when her mother was still alive. Of course. Hmm. Semigawa? Alright, Kuro, you head straight there. That's our best bet. The rest of us will split up and look around. If anyone finds anything, give the others a ring, okay? Nanako, where are you? Kuro, did you find Nanako? Not yet. Damn. Damn it, where is he? Nanako! you talk to her? I'm not her real father, huh? Please. Kuro, you should go pick her up. She'll listen to you. But that's not true. No, it is. 
You're her family. What's more than I am. As long as that goes okay, I'm fine. Please. Uncle! Hey, bro. Why'd you come here? I came with Mom. Nanako looks lonely. I told Nanako that her father was the one who found her. He was looking for me? Did Dad say anything about the river? Did he forget about Mom? He never talked about her. I want to see Mom. Nanako is struggling not to cry. Do Nanako's fears resolve, you feel that your relationship with her has grown deeper. <laughs> Rank 7. Dad must have forgotten Mom. There aren't any pictures of her at home. He probably threw them all away. Is he going to throw me away too? He won't abandon you. I'm going home. Let's go home together. You called your friends and told them that Nanako was safe. You returned home with Nanako. Sunday. We have to be off. And since it's Sunday, uh, what now? Hello. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. Kinda don't need to now that we have to. That we have to max, max out your social life. Not the weather forecast. Something for me. Well, we got to not too much. Battlesuit. Two weeks off of jail, right? Red Goldfish! I need that. Make it here quick. And with 10 breadcrumbs. I need all that. Oh, 10 harvest. More crack. Why is that so plain to me to say? Quack me. <laughs> I don't know why it's so plain to me to say. Uh, some tomatoes. You don't want tiny soul tomatoes. Alright. Let's see if it dies as well. If not, then I might. No, it's not. I don't get to hang out with Yukiko if she's available. I see Teddy out here. It's really important really avoid hanging out with him. Now she's not available. Oh, we say it is. We need to get her to just link up too. The hill overlooking town. Came at Misei's request, as he says he lots of here. When I first got to town, I used to sit here and do nothing. I would just listen to the sound of the river, the sound of the birds, the sound of the rain. I thought I could forget he said and find myself that way. But... Senpai, have you ever thought that you're pushing yourself too far, or that you're just acting? Sometimes. Oh. I see. I guess that makes sense. You don't can be their normal self all the time, huh? Pretty much, yeah. I feel like I've been able to relax after coming to Inaba. Meeting all of you, laughing together, watching the store, reading comics, playing with the cat. When I was at my parents' house, I was on my best behavior around them. Oh, but Grandma doesn't ask me anything. You know, like why I quit or what I'm thinking of doing next. Just talks about tofu. She says, I like tofu. I had to ask her what that meant. The way she explained it, tofu looks weak and fragile, but it's actually pretty resilient. Even though it stands out because it's not like any other food, it can be mixed in with any recipe or flavor. 
so she's incredible. I mean, nothing like that. I don't know, your grandma might have been onto something there. I... I was actually bullied at school before I made my big debut. I wasn't good at talking, and I always looked at my feet. I was alone the entire time. But I didn't have a problem with that. No one expected anything from me. And then, the application my relative sent without telling me passed the first audition. I wasn't interested in being an idol, but I wanted the chance to change myself. And by chance, I won. <laughs> when it happened, I panicked, thinking maybe I should turn their offer down. But then I thought, if I appeared on TV, I could make friends. That was literally the only reason I went through with it. After a while, I realized something. The person everyone likes, the one they say hi to on the street, that's not the real me. He says the one everyone likes. The fictional character they sold for public. It's the same with you, isn't it? You don't have to deny it. I won't be mad. You're with me right now because I'm set, yeah? Of course not! <laughs> I'm sorry. That wasn't a fair question. But I'm happy you said so. I always say we say if I was with you because I'm looking for the I I'm looking at the idol, then clearly I'm not looking at the real you. Which we have seen. That's who I want to be with. That's who I want to hang out with. The real you. The one that's in front of me. Right now. Smiling weakly and all. When I got to back to school after my debut, no one bullied me. I was happy at first, with people I didn't even know talking to me. But they weren't suddenly interested in music in college. They wanted to hang out with me said. Bullying stopped, but I felt like none of them saw the real me. In my heart, I've always thought, this isn't the real me. Funny, huh? I was the one who wanted to change, and... But none of that matters now. I'm done being reset. Now I have people who know the real me. Plus, I have power that can help everyone. I love that. This time, I'm going to change to a reset that everyone can like. Keep an eye out for a senpai. Say smiling. If you let you understand, we say even more. Well, that's good. And it says persona, healing wave. All fight members will recover a small amount of HP at the end of that. Oh, cool. So it's kind of like. So I have two versions. I'll see you later, now. senpai. Okay, that's good. The light is the only way we say we'll get any skills to set up Welcome leveling back. up. Hey. And we'll say with those demons getting closer soon. Might as well. Uh, oh, come on. It can't be that boy if I want to hang out with you. You know, I just looked outside. Yeah? Let's take a walk in a bit. There's somewhere I want to go with you and Nanako. Oh, and here. Have this. Huh? Obtained coffee mug. It's the same kind that Nanako and I use. This is your personal mug. Write your name on it later. Oh, well, thank you. No problem. Take good care of it. We're family. So I'll fill yours and Nanako's mugs anytime. Don't forget that. I won't. Ready, Dad? Yeah, let's go. Right. We're now for a walk now go in the middle. Samagawa River. It's scary at night. But it's fun with you and Big Bro. Don't fall in. <laughs> Why'd we come here? Well, you've been saying all the time how you wanted to come here, right? Let's come again on a nicer day. We can have a picnic. Yeah! Yay! Can I go closer to the river? The fish might be sleeping. All right, all right. Watch your step, okay? Okay. <laughs> that look on her face. I haven't seen it in a long time. Huh. I... 
I'm going to keep up my search for the criminal who ran over Chisato. This time, it's not to escape from anything. I'm just doing it because I'm a detective. Seems I forgot something as basic as that. Eh, it happens to the best of us. You made me remember what's important to me. I owe you for that. This town is my town. It's the place where you and Nanako live. That's why I'm gonna live on, protecting this place. As a detective, as a father. The demon has a refreshing smile on his face. You feel a tight bond between you and Dojima. I honestly didn't even realize we were getting close to maxing him out. I'm glad I did. I am Dao, Dao Art I. Dao has established a genuine bond. These same bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. You will still upon thee the ability to create Kuryu, the ultimate form of the Hierophant Arcana. And that's what, four now? I'm on a wall. Use Kuryu, the Almighty Guardian. Wait, I said! Huh? Damn it, he's still after us! What's that? What the? Hey, that's. You there! What's wrong? Detective Dojima? I I'm sorry to bother you while you're off duty. I don't sweat it. Who are they? Oh, it's that group of juvie thieves. You know, the one that's been the talk of the town? Thieves? Those punks. Dad, are you going? Yeah. Arresting the bad guys is my... I mean, your father's job. <laughs> Sorry. But take care of Nanako. Go get him. Yeah. Big smile spread across Dojima's face. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm Detective Dojima of the Inaba PD. Feared by punks and thugs citywide. Don't you two worry about me. Head on home, okay? Yes, sir. All right, stop right there, you punks! Go get him, Dad! He's so cool. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Let's go home. I need to get the bath ready. Oh, and let's make a late night snack. I'm hungry. Talk about what you could prepare as you walk home. I love this family. <laughs> I really do. Oh god, you again. Alright, we're done talking about blood now. Yeah, we just have a little time left. I guess I'll keep talking then. Speaking of blood, do you know what dragon's blood is? <laughs> it's nothing like a fantasy novel. That's actually the blood of a dragon. Oh, that's boring then. Dragon's blood is bright red resin that's taken from a plant called Dracaena. It was valued in the old days as an almighty medication, and it actually has the ability to reduce inflammation. People of old were sent to a mantis called tree resin dragon's blood. <laughs> Interesting. And ultimately useless. That's the old for today. So we got to recover. It's probably going to our recovery is probably going to be over in like the next couple days. Let me see if that's real. It's not. She can go available. I don't know why I'm out here. Actually, let me talk, try to find that guy. With the cat. About the about a sphere of cats and everything. Since I have some gold. No way I don't have the fish yet. <laughs> the fish hadn't arrived yet. I'm I'm stupid. Because I have no other way of getting I don't know how to get breadcrumbs or anything like that for bait. And I know I can do bait bug catching, but I'm not seeing any indicator that says to do the bug to do the bug catching. Because I know where to do it, but it's not saying that I can. So confusing. Ugh. I'm gonna bet to the high school. Oh, 
But it isn't really to advance, so. I'll hang out with her anyway. Still not ready yet. Dang it. Thank you. Not, can I go with Nanako today? Let me try this one again. What am I missing for the bug catching? I have the net, so why can't I... I do have the net, right? Where is this? Oh, right. Uh... Yeah, here it is. See me name, name went on too, but it's faded. I don't know what I'm missing for it. This game on my last nerve, not being able to do this. See, Kanji's out here. So I'm not planning on hanging out with him yet. Kanji's out here. He's out here. Well, I'm going to use the, uh, the fortune falling thing to, make so to get, get myself ready with you to go down. Well, ten. Get my slowly get myself ready anyway. Small blessing. I'm not become stronger yet. Dang it! Probably so close to maxing her out. All right, great pattern, great baton work. It's the most important of the great relay. Keep practicing. It doesn't matter how fast you run, if you drop the baton, you'll lose value of the time. Just keep passing that baton until you reach the anchor. It's fundamental, but difficult. Haha. <laughs> By the way, the word anchor was originally used in a different track and field sport. Hmm. How about question reserve? Which of these sports also uses an anchor? Uh, I know it's not swimming, but that's wrestling. See, when I think of anchor, I think something heavy. So, shot put? Thanks. Okay, so it's tug of war. Yeah, a little bit difficult, yes. The player supporting the end of the world base was acting as an anchor, and was thus called so. See, I don't know that. I, ne I never played tug of war. It crossed over into other sports, and so the last runner in the relay is also called that. Alright, one more time with Kuro as the anchor. Ready? Go. That doesn't matter, my knowledge is maxed out, so. Rain, so I don't think anyone's available. Oh wait, the cultural club's available. Let's see if goes uh, out here downstairs again. Duh, I doubt it. Uh, no, she's not. Okay. I could check to see if a dice is available. I'm being paranoid here, but still. Nope, okay. So yeah, I'll hang out with uh, Yumi today. Isn't ready to advance yet? Alright. Still know Yumi. Excited to see her at the hospital. Yep, she was here again. Let's talk with the despondent Yumi for a while. Huh. Oh. Hello, Nanako. Yeah, I guess no minute. That's gotta focus on the minute down tonight. Or not? Huh? Received a text message. It's from Kanji. So this new movie out called Daichiko's Story, and I'm just a sucker for movies about dogs. Yeah, I think I'll go see you at some point, at some point with him. Hmm. I want to hang out with. So that's decided to come back out and start sitting in the 
at night again. Now he's not. Because I was going to say, Dotsy, don't be messing with me like that. Yeah, no one's out here watching right now. I ain't going to try to draw the fortune thing then. Wait, can I draw it in the train? Okay, it's not. It's not out here during rainy days. So I guess let's do something in the... Uh, go through some of my room then. That's your what? No, I can continue reading these books instead. Get my courage up some more. Man of history. Greatly increased. Significantly increased. Has it not leveled up yet? <laughs> Another rainy day. Midterms are starting on Friday next week. Ah! Are you guys studying hard or hardly studying? Mm hmm? Well, let's get back to basics then. Let's look at a, the world map. Take note that Japan is in the center of the Japanese map. Other countries center their maps in different places. Would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? Oh, let's see. A muggy something. No, I feel bad about that, so how to Damn! What? Why do you feel bad about asking you could go but not me? I don't even know what he's talking about. You know the answer? Uh... I really don't know. The left edge? Dang. Actually, in foreign world, eastern edge. Right. It'd be on the right. Am I slow? See, we didn't study... When I was in school, we never studied maps that often. And when we did, it was just for fun activities or something like that. Even in high school. So there was no way I was going to remember that. Yeah, I don't think anyone's available right now. So, more than likely, going to be eating at... I oh, wait, no, I can go to the movie for Kanji, though. I can go to the movie... Okina doesn't get the same weather as Inaba, so... I can go hang out with Kanji... Go hang out with Kanji and watch that movie he asked about. Let me check around this place first. Hey, don't check out this costume shop. Oh, got new outfits here. Cheers, quad set. Cheerleader clothes. I'll be honest, I'm a bit afraid to even get that for guys. Dangerous briefs. Oh, that's got to swimsuit, isn't it? Here it is. There's a costume for you to go to get. Man, these costumes are expensive. Speaking of the costumes, I actually did. I talked to Margaret off screen. And she gave me a new costume. I'll show you when I'll show you back when I get back to TV World again. Depends on what. What was that in the movie? Can you tell me my favorite to movie? History. A lot about history. I don't know. Guys, I want to see it, so let's go. What's up? Luis? Luis Okina, right? Yes, I want to go. It'll take a while since I'll be biking it, but I'll think we will be there before the movie starts. Okay, see ya. Alright, man. Thanks for waiting. No problem. Well, let's go. Dude. He was deeply moved by the tale of Datsuko, who waited unfailingly for his master to come home. He enjoyed watching the movie with Kanji. Something inside of Kanji changed in response to the movie. And he leveled up? Oh, his energy went up high. Or Whoa. endurance. His endurance went up. Damn it, they got me. I couldn't help but cry. Movies about animals just aren't fair. I was too damn cute. Got to go. Just want to hug him. You gotta do that I'm glad again. I came along. We'll see this again. 
Kanzi. You know it, dude. I like Kanzi. He's a big dude with a with a soft heart. Movie buff. Okay. And now the weather. I forgot about achievements for movies. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. It seems the fog will set in tonight. Oh, finally. Pretty sure there's someone that won Red Goldfish, but. Eh. Yeah, the lady outside the shrine. We have to be another night. It's midnight. Fog set in. And no one's on the Midnight Channel. Good. Since Nato has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Meanwhile, in the foggy shopping district. Damn it, again? Who's this? A killer, perhaps? Now, though. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. They'll mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to. Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Oh, oh crap! Aw, uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? Oh, boy. My, my. Rumors spread so quickly. Unfortunately. Just ignore them. Yes. I'm myself, right? That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. And it isn't over yet. Let's go over the finer points after school. Of course. Junas Food Court. First, I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. If this wasn't chloroform, otherwise you wouldn't be able to recall any of this. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. Right. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were carried from your... Went right from your front door into the TV world in just a few minutes? That was too slow. Something... So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped? Oh! Could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Why would there be a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. 
such a bizarre experience with mental and physical fatigue on top of it, it's only natural to be confused. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... That was the only thing. The killer didn't... That was the only thing he was guilty of. Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. Right. He didn't have a persona. That's it! That's what was bothering me! Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kuba became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However, I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. Of course. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. And who knows how much backlash that will make. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? Um... Um... To tell you the truth, I was really scared. I I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. It can't be helped. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. It is easy, easy to forget, isn't it? You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. Regardless, <laughs> I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Please allow me to join your effort. Of course. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader. Nato joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Rank up to the full arcana. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. Since when were you king of anything? Ta da! Now, Chan's glasses! Oh, you had them ready in advance. Thank you. They told me about you, Teddy. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Wow! What a nice girl! Down, boy. The true culprit is still at large. For now, you just have to wait for them to make the next move. Unfortunately. Oh well. Oh, welcome home, V. 
cake, bro? Yes, I could. Or I can hang out with Nanaka today. Raven Doe are really too many to yet. That's annoying! Because we're at, what, rank 7, 8 now? Rank rank 7. So we could be at rank 8 right now, but I guess not. See the lady in white was there. Here she is. Yep, here. The King You Stone? Okay, thanks. And I could hang out with Nanako, because I really do like hanging out with my little sister, cousin, whichever you want to go with. Uh, oh, here you are. Oh! Gaming will say it's more time. In other words, during the day. Won't even just yet. Uh, I'm going to choose Ryan. Go ahead and draw a fortune. At least get myself a little bit closer with Yukiko. So I'm so close to completing hers. Mild blessing. But not become stronger yet. Come on! So it's that last rank that's always the hardest to get for some reason. Excuse me. Nata. Do you have time after school today? Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? You mean a vet? <laughs> the normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. I don't know why we didn't think to do that in the first place. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. That's a fair point. We didn't even think about if all the, if these powers or the fog in the TV world would have any effect on, on us in the real world. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Negative effects? D don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. But yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Look at you planning ahead. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. Well, I'll see you all after school. We'll be going to the hospital after school at Nato's recommendation. All right. Everyone underrated throw a physical at the hospital announcer recommended. That was just an ordinary checkup. Oh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. <laughs> was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. That's surprising. Oh, they're back. I'm very sorry for the wait. Very sorry for the wait. Stop with the puns. So did they find out anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. Uh, of course. Honestly, that was probably the expected result. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. Not even a skeleton? No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. You mean it'd be too foggy? Mystery is afoot. Or even more so than already is. I don't know what I'm getting at. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. I felt bad for making them go through all this. 
So he is different. I mean, we knew that already. Oh my, what should I do? They took a look at everything inside me. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? True. Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. Yeah, they don't try to come out of, they don't come out of anywhere and try to attack you. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. Like what happened with us. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. Jesse, where did you get data from? It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. Uh, say what now? What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! Ooh, first place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? What's up? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? I don't know. Look. If you're going to blab at all, you might as well tell us the girl's measurements. Are you trying to get yourself a grave? What? Are you a complete nutter moron? So yeah, are you really asking that seriously? Like, are you really? <laughs> it's Yosuke. Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. This, the amount of nonchalant... How you can be so nonchalant about this, it's just impressive. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. Of course they did. No! Don't say mine! Aw, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. This girl's dangerous! <laughs> what?! Oh yeah, Naoto-kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto-kun's is... Huh? Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Uh, anyways, the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. I'm going to go shred them. Please and thank you. Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. <laughs> Uh. After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. Yeah, we'll find out together. Yeah, thanks, Sensei. Teddy's gazing at you with gratitude in his eyes. Rank six. Really? Lag? Now? Uh, I really need to check the game's uh, settings after this, because this is ridiculous. I mean... Oh, wait, OBS kind of stopped for a second, too. It must be my system, then. I don't know. In fact, it's going as well. Maracunda. Uh... 
You know what? I honestly rat don't bring Teddy for those kind of buffs, so. Might as well have him focus on debuffs and magic. Hey! If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind! Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Evening. Again with the lag. I would need to check settings after this stream. I don't know what's going on. It's not getting frame drops either. Yep. Return to start next Friday. Study? I don't need to study. My knowledge is maxed out. I don't need studying is useless to me. I am professor level genius. Knowledge. Whatever. Okay, now I'm getting long load times. So I don't know what's going on. They look good. Three tiny soul tomatoes. Uh, I got more tomato seedlings, man, so keep making more. Find more. You sound to keep that SP up. Let's see, the team is maxed out. Nanako is not available. Oh, you again. Nancy, are you? I have no idea where to get find those. Uh, this is Yosuke, but I need to hang out with him, unfortunately. If you could go with out here and hang out with her, but I don't think she is. Oh, yep, 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 I can't hang out with Nanako right now. Hey. That reminds me, Halloween is this month. Yes, it is. I'll be honest, when I was younger, I didn't really enjoy Halloween all that much. But nowadays, I find myself enjoying Hallow's Eve much more than I thought I, said, than I, thought I would. I wish I had that enthusiasm. I wish I had that enthusiasm back when I was younger. There's been some talk at the end about doing something for it. So we're at Hot Springs and can't do anything too extravagant. That's the same. Do you have any suggestions? Um. Ooh, prepare a pumpkin dishes. Yes! Yeah, pumpkin is a must for Halloween. I wonder if I should consult our head chef about an entire pumpkin meal. Oh, but then again, some people don't like pumpkin, so it would be better if they were given a choice. True. I don't think you can suggest any consideration. Thank you so much. When I tell them my ideas, they always get shot down. I don't understand why. Yeah, I don't get it either. Huh? I want you to have this. Rainbow con peto? I've heard of that. Good night. <sighs> oh, good morning, Senpai. Hello, Nato. Exams start next Friday, but I'm just not in the mood for schoolwork. The true killer is someone else. We're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will be on will grind to a halt. Yeah, tests are important too, though. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm feeling anxious. We're the only ones with the ability to solve this case, and yet we have no way to act. Anyway, we can only wait for the for the culprit to make his move. We must not forget to check the midnight channel too. This is a crucial moment. Very true. Good morning, everyone. Guess what? We're having exams at the end of next week. Ah! Stop telling me that! I hope that nobody in here, in here has been... here has been an ostrich and can around without doing any studying. Why did I say an ostrich? Because it's a common metaphor for someone who avoids inconvenient truths. It comes from the common mistaken belief that ostriches bury their heads in the sand in the face of oncoming danger. If you're safe just because you can't see the problem, it's a sure sign of escaping from reality. Let me like a big ostrich. 
There's another kind of bird, though. They're dead. It's a cowardly connotation in English. Lay it on me, sir. Be brave. Tell me what your first name means coward in English. Dumb. Chicken. Alright, that's correct. Chicken is a word for coward in English. There are many theories as to why. You know how you get goosebumps when you're scared, right? It looks a bit like a deep feathered chicken skin. Wait, then why are they called goosebumps and not chicken bones? It doesn't matter. The point is, you need to face reality and pull the for every test that you Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna use a guide for that, because I'm not gonna be able to remember all that, everything that we learned through all this in the school. Whoa! It's freezing! Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? And it's the start of October. How have we not changed our winter uniforms yet? Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Seriously! I was busy handing out flyers at Juness! Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Uh, why? Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies! How do you know about that? So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. Oh, it's an idol. Right. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being canceled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! Oh. <laughs> it's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? Yeah, how can we help? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Risa-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. Right. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. Oh, yeah. Bad, a good attitude and an excessively good attitude in a bad situation is usually a telltale sign of something bad on coming. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I going to do if that happens? And we'll be down a party member, especially one with that, that maxed out of bond weather. We gotta fix this now! Singing and handshakes only. Huh? No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. Seriously? What? Wait! I'm no idol! It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. That I mean, kind of needs you in the TV world, Teddy, remember? I think you guys are worrying about the right things here. <laughs> but if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Whoa, whoa! There's no way we can pull off something like that! What are we supposed to do? I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. What's it sophisticated people in keep pianos? I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? 
This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. Never really played it, though. Seriously? Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you <laughs> just thought it was another guitar. Probably. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Some kind of instrument? Oh, boy. Yeah, you're gonna be in trouble here. Then it's decided. And what's Conti? Where are Conti, Titty, and I gonna play? I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. All right. We're really doing this. So, what are we going to do with these? I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? That's a gong. It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <sighs> um, I don't think that's going to really matter in this case. Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? Maracas? I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. All right. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here. <laughs> I'll choose this then. The tambourine. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? Oh boy. I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. It's me. Wait, do you already know how to play the bass? Because that would be awesome! I don't know. Actually, I know next to nothing about it. Way to step up, partner. Gee, thanks. Well then, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. And what's wrong with that? I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. How does that make any sense? Uh, I don't think I have enough flat time to explain that. Then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. No, you will not. Hey, baby, I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Why are you trying to sound like a jazz to do from a jazz band? Uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me. Yep. You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see, what looks easy? Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? I'll admit it, kind of does. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. Doing anything. We're doomed. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. We're doomed. <laughs> That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. We have like a week. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? That's the symphony. Or the. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're doomed. Guess I'm gonna have to transfer schools after all. You all practice on your own until it gets dark. You decide to meet again tomorrow. Oh, welcome back. 
Do you not go? Spending time today. Still not ready yet. Why are we on a uniform Sunday? Once more from the top. One, two, three, four. What was... That wasn't me, I think. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. Yeah, oh, Teddy. A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's sound. You get it? Not really. Oh, I get it. That means Teddy did it, doesn't it? Yep. Huh? <clears throat> that reaction overturned my expectations. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. Nice follow-up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. Let's just ignore this bear. Good idea. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. There's just not enough time. Everyone is silent. Eh, it ain't over until it's over. Sensei, I... I wanna play in a band! If it's over, then it's over for Yosuke too! That means it's over for me! And I can't bear to face that! <laughs> I don't wanna know that you're only doing this because you're selfish. But you've got a point. If we give up, it all ends there. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. Real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. Uh, we're not talking about a brawl here. Just let him go with his tough guy down, Zeus. I'll do it too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Don't worry, Yosuke Senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what, and they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. Oh, so what I did, what I said wasn't enough? Okay, let's see who it is. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? All right, let's do this. Huh? I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all. Yeah, no, we're doomed. <laughs> okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Whoa, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. I'm seeing how hard you're trying and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three, four. You've got yourself behind a door deep inside your heart again. You want to hide. You want to come out going round and round. That... Didn't that sound pretty good? It was great. That's what he said. <gasps> that was actual music! Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits! Teddy, what the hell are you on about? Hell no. <laughs> We've already been on a TV show. A midnight one. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. 
For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. Yeah, oh boy. Come on, everyone. Let's cheer up, okay? Yeah, just ignore the bear, as always. And you! You have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine. Right. <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? I'm going to play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. That saying's about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad lib. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Just like we practiced. Got it? <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. All right. Morning's hard work is slowly taking shape. Practice late into the night for the actual performance tomorrow. Welcome back. Thank you. Yes, I can go out. Well, let me see if you goes out here again. No, they. No, I don't know. Probably not. I'm probably sleeping and resting for the performance tomorrow while I'm out here digging around. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, let's go. Well, maybe instead of Yukiko, I'll pull a poison for Nanako this time. Come on, good blessing. Great blessing, yes! But not stronger yet. Dang it! And still better than nothing. Since I couldn't hang out with her tonight. Oh, finally, we're not un wearing uniforms. Crap! The crowd's a lot bigger than I expected! Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Uh. -uh. Our costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms, even worse than the winter ones. What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. Have you not seen my entire closet full of costumes for us to wear in the TV world? The clothes we've been wearing all summer will work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. You'll be hitting the skins more than a bare knuckle boxer. Enough with the puns. You, you shut your stupid bear trap. I don't need to hear this. You've been on TV before, right now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? I'll be honest, I'm screaming on the inside. Wait, you are? Yeah, you can't tell. Sensei's face is like a waterfall. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Hmm? Huh? Did someone just... There was someone here. Now whatever. Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Y yeah, got it. Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Rise, John. Maybe it's her to pump us up. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full-blown, one-time-only performance. Now, who's ready? We, we are. are. Fired up and ready to go. Now, listen up. We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Got it, Teddy. I don't mean he's listening.
Ooh, anime cutscene. <laughs> we were that good. They're asking for an encore. I don't see why not. Oh yeah, I, I didn't think about that. You really didn't? We only know one song! What do we do now? There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave, or play the same song over again. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. Daffle. I saw that guy before. Huh. Ah, I'm getting fired up! Why? Hey, Teddy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Crowd surf! This is the best part of being a live performer! Yeah, that's safe for you. Teddy plays the part of Stupid Ford. Teddy! We can't play without him! It's Teddy. What do you expect? Hey! Hey! Why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation! Stage dive? Hey! Don't sound so excited! Down, girl! Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. Oh, boy. Then what are we gonna do? Do we have any other way out? If you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Or just us. Uh, all right. I'll show you what it means to be a man. Kazi, now it's not manly moment here. Hey, wait, you idiot! Now screw it. <laughs> they just dodged out of the way. How? And you two ended up falling on your faces. How did I do when it made a superhero landing? I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. Well, now you know. Ugh. <laughs> you and your friends have become legends among your peers. Enough people had gathered at you nest that you considered this mission accomplished. At least so you tell yourself. <laughs> that was still a good awesome performance though. Welcome back. Hello. What's it? Trying for ten, say home, make it home. Yeah, let's get another trying for ten. This one for Nanako, because I'm pretty sure Nanako will be hanging out with her tonight. And I'm thinking any of our others, any of our school stuff, some links are available. Nope, it's available, so it's trying for ten. Great blessing. Will not become stronger yet. Oh, come on! I had two great blessings. How am I not ready yet? Hey! Morning, Kurokun. Hey, Tia. Man, that was exhausting yesterday. It's my first time being up on stage like that. We say I had to do stuff like that all the time when she was working, right? I'd never be able to live like that. This week, we've got midterms, so I... 
Oh hey, let's have a steady session with everybody else at the store. We're all in the same boat, right? Let's help each other out. Help each other. That's right, help each other. Okay, so what if I'm more on the being help side than the helping each other side? Uh-huh. Come on, help those of us who are academically talented. I'll invite everyone, please. All right, all right. Just my armor, don't you? Now, please take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had these made. Crow, just stand up, please. Why? What did Napoleon have invented? Uh. Randy? Last stars, okay. Napoleon held a contest with lots of World War Mines who ever came up with the with, with a way to preserve food on long campaigns. Which would, of course, be... jars. Nicholas Uppert submitted his method for canning food in 1804, paving the way for the food, pres pre food preservation industry. It's a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved in the, with the actual invent invention of metal cans. First canned foods were kept in glass jars. Tin or iron cans were invented in 1810 as an alternative to heavier jars. An actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. Why make cans and not have the can openers? It's crazy. Before the invention of the can opener, soldiers would use bayonets to cut open cans or smash them with rocks. So midterm start at the end of this week. Don't forget to review. Alright, alright. Juness Food Court. Well, hi Nanako-chan. Hi Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Oh Laura, she's learning from him now. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Yeah, Kanji. Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Why did everyone come here? Steady session. Exam study group. Yeah, that too. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. You go. You said a. You said like one sentence. That was like seven words. Yeah, for some reason, all I heard was gibberish. <sighs> Jumping straight into math. Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and. Oh my god, my brain hurts. <laughs> huh? You find the area of a triangle with, you know, that thing. Um. Base by height by two. What? If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? You're in a higher grade, Gilstay. Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Dude, I'm going to kick you under this table if you don't set up. No. Don't call me useless. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto cool riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? Oh my god, you're okay. That's it. I quit. This just ain't my thing. The hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Ooh, Sarah, Sarah, I want some. <laughs> Ooh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. All oh, right. Forget it. I can't think. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. Yeah, you're not going to get much um, results for that. I even went to a place called the library. But I still can't find anything about me. 
I let that one slide because people would be saying library wrong so many times. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Oh, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. True. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. True. Unlike the majority of what we encountered in the TV world, you're something that actually has a constant consciousness in your own, you know, self. You're committed to an anomaly on this side and that side, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. True. It's not like I've ever seen a clock in that place. Oh, that's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this. Right. <laughs> We're talking about all this serious stuff, and Nanako's saying here, like, what is everyone talking about? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. If Teddy's a king, then I'm the, then I'm the king of Siba. <laughs> Teddy? A king? Oh, Lord, don't give him ideas, Yukiko. Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Oh, right. That. Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There were all these other kings, too. And we all... Us. Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Not in front of Nanako, you idiot. Quiet, you. Not in front of Nanako-chan. Everyone left their seats to go buy drinks with Nanako. Am I really a king? Uh, probably not. <laughs> mm, then what am I? A prince? That's even worse. Teddy's lost in thought. I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. I mean, that's the plan. You sense Teddy's strong trust. <laughs> Then we went up two ranks with Teddy in this string. Nice. Can now endure a mortar blow in battle. Big bro! Teddy! Is melon soda okay? Oh yes, please. I love melon soda. Like you have not lived until you have tried melon soda. It tastes so good. I'm glad you did. Let's spend some more time. Yes! Come closer soon. Yo! Oh, cool, Kun. Morning. You know, maybe whenever we're over there, I've been wondering. Does it feel like you've seen those shadows before? I mean, we fought robots and stuff that look like they're right off an of some anime, right? Doesn't that bother you? Well, now you mention it. Remember how our other selves had those logos like, in a, like a TV show? Maybe it was like that for the same person as to why the shadows look like something from the TV. 
They said before that the other world is related to our minds somehow. People who watch the Midnight Channel believe it's a TV cell, and we treat it treat that world as something inside the TV. So maybe that's why. Or is it the same with us? All of us have had our brains soaked in television since we were kids. Mm, I guess I can't really deny that. Can't help watching Hong Kong action movies whenever they're on TV. Uh, I feel you. Like, there's always that one certain show that comes on that you can never turn away from. It was like that for me, too. So, it's so tiring coming up with stuff for the exams. All I want to do is go home and see how many stocks, how my stocks are doing. By the way, Halloween's at the end of the, this month. I'm sure you've forgotten with the tests and festivals and all. Speaking of Halloween, the first jack o lanterns weren't made out of pumpkins. Hmm, Satsunaka san, I'll pick you since you don't seem to care any job pitches. Now to Zero Pumpkin. Really? He's gonna turn around on me like that. Okay. Do you know what festival was used to make the first jack o lanterns? See, I actually do note this one because, well, kind of really focused on Halloween a bit more than I should have, so I kind of went into it a bit. But, yeah, the. I'm pretty sure it was. I'll be honest, I kind of got. I think it was turnips. Yeah, it was turnips. When that tradition was carried into the U.S., they started using pumpkins because they were plentiful and easier to carve. While on the subject, I'm hoping to find my stocks will turn up. No? Fine, plants aren't my style anyway. They really aren't. Seriously, why turnips? Humans are weird. It's raining, so I don't expect anyone to... Dati! We got a dot. I mean, I could go into TV world and get down to... Actually, how is now to? She's 55. Okay. And there's her persona, Sukuna Hikuna. Which, wow, carrying a lot on her. She's carrying Agidine and Garudine. How is she carrying wind and fire on her? And you got light and... You got medium light and darkness skills. You got Megiddo, you got Deathbound, and you got Tempest Slash. And you got Tetracon coming up in your next level up. Girl, why are you stacked to the brim with, 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 ars with this kind of arsenal? <laughs> oh. This makes you advance yet still. <laughs> well, we're working on it. Yes, so come closer soon. Finally. After to school. Tanner today, but I want to harvest more new veggies. More tiny souls. Let's get some wild paprika. What is paprika anyway? I mean, I think it's a seasoning. I never used it. Anyway, we're in the evening together. We're in desperate need of it. Um, I lost the paper I was supposed to return to school. What should I do? The teacher will, will yell at me. Well, I'll help you look for it. Thank you, big bro. I feel seems ready to cry with distress. He decided to search the house. What could it be? Quick first story to me is always going to us. We were told the parents' survey regarding scheduling of parent teacher interviews was hidden among them. The word any time was been written in a question box. Is this the paper Nako was looking for? Something else hidden in the papers. It seems to be a photo. She decided to show it to Nanako. He handed, handed the paper and photo to Nanako. Nanako looked at the paper at the on the table. Says anytime. I'll try on it. So you can come anytime. <laughs> and Daddy'll try. I see. And this is a photo? Oh, this is mom. This little baby in the middle. That's me. 
that smiling? Why did that stop smiling? Because you're lonely. Huh? That won't smile because I'm lonely? I see. So that's it. Nanako has realized something. After mom died, I was lonely, but I'm not the only one who's sad that mom's not here anymore. Dad, he was lonely too. I'm sorry, Dad. Nanako looks more mature somehow. Rank 8. We're getting there. Thank you, big bro. Will Dad ever smile like this again? I'm sure he will. Nanako stares at the photo. Good night. It's getting late, so he put Nanako to bed and went to your room. We're getting there. Like of all the social links, Adati's, Nanako's, and Dojima's was my top priority along with my party members. Everything else I'll get to when I can. But my party members and my family tend to have my top priority. Ugh, midterm starts tomorrow. But it feels so lazy. Can you believe you are so hardcore about studying for the exam, Senpai? Are you sure you're gonna need to know all this stuff in the future? Well, you probably won't. By the way, would you not say the word lazy around me, especially this early in the morning? Whatever. After exams, we have the culture festival. There are more university students this year, so the festival could be more fun than it was last year. So there's a teacher here who tried to put a problem on the test involving it as soon as the bus at least hit the residence. One say who? Isn't it just wrong? I mean... Who cares about high school girls' measurements? It would have been much more interesting than mine, huh? No, they would not! But man, middle-aged dudes are so perverted. I can feel them looking at me in the lounge. <laughs> and you like it. You know you like it. You little... You craven bastard. By the way, speaking of middle-aged men, this cute little fist called the Oji-san. Isn't that a cute name? Too bad there's no fist called the Oba-san. I guess that's because no matter how old you get, women are still women. Oh, Kirokun, you're listening to what I just said. Oh god, why are you calling me? What kind of fist was I just talking about? The oji san Mhm, mm I'm glad you were listening to me. It's actually named the Goat Fist, but it's commonly called the oji san It's called that because it has whiskers and looks like just like a middle-aged man. I want you to remember that, so I'll be putting it on the test that starts tomorrow. Of course you did. I'll be ready for it. Because I gotta sit, I gotta cheat seat here. <laughs> You're getting one on me, Kawakami. Okay. I think any of our social links are gonna be available because of exams. Oh, you can go this way. to advance yet still? Let's see if Adachi is available first, then I'll go. If not, then I got where to go. No, he is not. And so let me see if Visa is available too. And... No, this is not. Or is it looking in the wrong place? Or... Nope, here, here's something. Uh, side quest up here. Oh, baby, Let's listen. Find coal. I think wraps. I got a little case in. Take castles. Okay. Oh, it's the castles in Naoto's dungeon. Oh, this your net. Where can it be caught? Now they tell me! Oh my god, finally. Okay, I can finally catch bugs. Now let's go back to the school and hang out with go. Now 
How about now? Are you to advance yet? Beta max out yet? Yes! Finally! Okay. Then we hang it with Yukiko next. Next time we can go with Yukiko. But I first get mid turn. Crap. You're back. Actually, I want to leave it here for tonight. Because I feel like midterm's coming up, then you got the cultural festival coming up. I think. I'm gonna check the calendar. It's pretty sure I got a whole bunch of stuff coming up. It's gonna take up a lot of screen time. Returns, returns, returns. Test results. And the culture festival coming up. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it here for tonight. Got a lot done. We didn't do anything in the TV world, but we maxed out Doji so much. So much. We got the ranks, the full are kind of up to eight. You can always want to be maxed out next time. We got we maxed out Doji so much. We get Nanako up. Adachi somehow still at five, rank five. I'm slacking on them. I really am. Sadie's getting there on his own because that's story related. So it's like, so it's gonna wake up on its own. I really don't have much to say on that matter. But that's gonna be it for me for tonight. As always, I thank anyone for coming out. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, later.